What's up guys, I'm Ross, your mattress expert from realmattressreviews.com. Today we have here the Yasa hybrid mattresses. We've got the 10 inch hybrid and the 12 inch medium hybrid. So we're going to just talk briefly about the differences of these mattresses and who might want to consider which mattress. And then we've also got the adjustable base, which you can see in action on either one of these reviews. I've got individual reviews for each one of these mattresses. But since I have them both here today, I decided to put them side by side and we'll just talk a little bit about each one and which one I think might work for what type of person. We'll just talk quickly here about the construction. Now I did dive deeper into this into the individual reviews but we'll just briefly talk a little bit about the differences and similarities between these two mattresses. So obviously you have a thinner one here, 10 inches, and this one is 12 inches. And right now the Yasa One, you have a queen with the adjustable base for $14.99. So that's a really good deal. You're getting actually a free mattress with the base. The 12 inch hybrid right now runs $12.99 for a queen mattress. When I spoke to the owner, he had mentioned that they've had some people upgrade the Yasa One deal with the nicer mattress, but you'd have to call or email them to discuss the difference in price between those two. I'm sure they can accommodate. So what we have is a 10 inch here. You've got three quarters of the infinity foam, which is a memory foam type feel on the very top, followed up by two inch transition layer with a six inch coil and a one inch base foam. Over here you've got more of that infinity foam so you're gonna have more pressure relief and a little bit softer feel over here with two inches of the infinity foam, a one inch transition layer and then an eight inch coil with a one inch base. So you have more thickness over here and more softness with more of that infinity foam. They also do offer this one in a firm version this is going to be the medium, which I think is about a six out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. And I think the thinner 10 inch option is about a 7.5 out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. So each one is a well-built mattress. One of the perks here on the thicker one is the cover is removable, so you can wash this top cover. I still recommend using a mattress protector either way, just to help keep the mattress clean. So I went over how each of these mattresses feels in the individual reviews, but essentially if you are looking to get that sleep system deal that they have going, the 10 inch mattress is going to appeal to most people if you like it a little bit on the firmer side. So I think for me it worked well in all three sleeping positions. If you are a side sleeper a lot of the time, or a light side sleeper, or just somebody that knows they like a little bit softer mattress, you're probably going to want to get the thicker hybrid mattress that's going to offer more softness on the very top. So this is going to be kind of a traditional medium firm feel. Over here you're going to have more of a medium soft feel. It's still kind of on the firmer side of medium, but it's definitely quite a bit softer than the one over here, being that it has two inches of that better pressure relieving foam on the very top. So it really kind of comes down to the firmness level that you're after and the price point that you want to hit. Um, the sleep system deal they have on the website right now, the Queen uh, Yasa One with the base is a steal. The base itself is normally more than that. If you've been in the market for an adjustable base, you'll probably find that for a really nice base, a lot of times the bases are more uh, without a mattress. So you're getting a really good deal there. But ultimately, if you are looking for a thicker mattress and you're looking for a little bit more softness, a little bit more pressure relief, I would say that the 12 inch model is gonna be the better option there. Any available coupons you can find by clicking the link down in the description. Jump over to the full contextual reviews. You can read more about each mattress and watch the individual reviews and then get the best price available. But essentially, the 12 inch mattress is gonna work best for combination sleepers, those of you that are sleeping in all three sleeping positions, and for you side sleepers out there, this is going to be the better option of the two for side sleeping. If you are looking to spend less money, or you are a stomach and back sleeper, this mattress is gonna work fantastic. It still has the edge to edge quantum coil. It's a very good coil unit. It's just the six inch instead of the eight inch. Um, this was actually probably gonna bend even a little bit better than the 12 inch on the base, but they both work pretty fantastic on the base, uh, regardless of the thickness. 
So overall, two really great mattress options you have there, and you also have the firm option here. But I can almost guarantee by adding the adjustable base, you will sleep better. The bases have a lot of benefits for acid reflux, for snoring, they can help with blood flow issues, and they're really nice to kind of sit up if you want to read or watch TV. And there's just a lot of really good benefits to the adjustable bases. So if you guys have any questions at all about this quick comparison, drop me a message below or shoot me an email off the website. I'm happy to help. I just decided I'd show them side by side since I had them here. If you want to dive a little deeper into either one, watch the full review video I have on each, on each mattress. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.